Now obviously you can do all sorts of variations on the really basic twist spun, including doing rope braids, normal braids. I'm going to show you one really quick made with a normal braid, it's the exact same process. And I'm going to use these hair forks, which are smaller, but I do find even for my thick elbow length hair, that they'll hold up a bun all day long if I weave them in properly, especially if I've already got a braid in my hair. I did this for my brother's graduation at stayed in all day with literally nothing but the hair forks, no bobby pins, hairspray, or anything. So I'm first going to begin by braiding my hair. Now that I've got my braid all done, I'm going to fold it up a bit and start wrapping it flat around my head. And again, when I get to the messy ends, I just tuck them under the entire bun. Next, I'm going to take one of my hair forks. And like I said, these are smaller, so I have to be a little more careful to secure them tightly. So I'll put that in there. Grab my other hair fork in from the other side. Now, depending on how your hair is, this may or may not hold your bun securely. So you might want to add three or four bobby pins just to see how it'll hold. Alrighty. And there we go. A secure braid bun. Now with the double hair stick set that I've got in right now, it actually looks really cool if I already have a really fancy updo, and I just take the two of them, let me take them out, and put them together like this and just simply insert them into my hairdo. It looks really cute like that. I'm going to show you one more thing you can do, the same process, only just with the side bun. It looks really cute. So you're going to start, again, I have a little left of that accent braid, I'm just going to leave it in. And I'm just going to come through and start twisting my hair up. Twist it around till I get it all the way to this side. At which point I could do a rope braid, which I'm going to do. Give me just a second here. I've got the rope braid right here, and then you start twisting all the way around. Tuck the ends in. In this case, I did not secure them with the ponytail holder. That's completely up to you. I'm going to come in here, insert the hair stick, and voila! Now I did do this really quickly, so I'm sure my little twist here isn't very good. You can see that this is a fun updo to do, and to combat the humidity in here, I would probably put on a little bit of hairspray, but that one little hair stick's going to hold this thing up the entire day.